Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, yesterday <laughs> I did a video called How Hell Works. When I think about what video am I going to do today, I always have a chat with my girl, right? I've got this girl with me, um, my spirit guide, my guardian angel, whoever you want to call her, okay? Every time I'm about to do a video, she directs me on what I have to talk about. It's not like I sit here with my ego and I say, oh, today I'm going to talk about whatever. She directs me in every video I do. Yesterday, she said, Linda, do the one on hell. So, Yesterday, if you haven't watched it, it's called How Hell Works. I only posted it yesterday. And in that video, I was talking about how when we hang on to our past, all our grudges, regrets, shames and embarrassments, and we hang on to guilt, we go into this hell loop when we pass over that prevents us going to heaven. Towards the end of that video, I've got the goosebumps, guys. I can't contain myself here today, okay? Towards the end of that video, I actually say in there, let it go. The way that we heal ourselves is by letting it go. Allowing the other person who's hurt us or the person who we have hurt we let it go and we don't have to say sorry to them we say sorry to ourselves for creating that instance okay so we let it go and we say sorry because when we say sorry we are forgiving that energy that we created Okay, because we were part of it. Whether we hurt someone or someone else hurt us, we were in that part, right, of that creation of that existence or memory or occurrence or situation. And we forgive ourselves. So then it's healed. That's what I spoke about yesterday. A great friend of mine has just sent me a video of Dolores Cannon. Now, a lot of people know about Dolores Cannon, yes? I personally do not follow Dolores Cannon because I want to do my work very in line with the messages I get from my girl. I don't listen to Tony Robbins because he's a life coach. I want to do my own interpretation of how to get this all going within ourselves right and I certainly don't watch tone um dr. Joe Dispenza for the same reason because I want to do my own work not relying on their words but I just had this video sent to me it's from Dolores Cannon so I felt compelled to open it and here she is talking about karma. How we release karma. Oh my gosh. We let it go. We forgive ourselves and we say sorry. And we heal that experience. I have no idea when Dolores Cannon did that video. But it was just sent to me in Messenger on Facebook. And it's virtually exactly the same as what I said yesterday when I was talking about hell loops. You know, when we start raising our vibration and we start allowing others to do what they want without our judgment, our accusations and without us getting offended which are all negative traits by the way 
When we allow other people to do what they choose under their own free will, and we can sit back and we can say to ourselves, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for showing me who you were or are. Thank you for doing actions that I personally do not wish to do. Let's go there. Childhood traumas. Let's just say there's a person who gets sexually assaulted when they're three years old. This is just an example. That child at three, did they have any responsibility? Did they have any actions that they could have done differently than to go through that abuse from an, an, um, an adult or other person? No. So when we hang on to these traumas, because I've had a lot of people that have rung me or they, they get readings off me and they say, Linda, I was raped when I was a child. The first thing I say to them is, why are you allowing the actions of somebody else to affect who you are now as a person? This is going deep for a lot of people, okay? Now I want you to understand when my situation in America, I ended up dead. The worst case scenario from abuse, which I don't like talking about, okay, because it's private. I like talking about what happened to me after I died. I went to heaven, right? But how do I forgive that man is by me saying to myself, because I don't need to ring him on the phone and say, by the way, I want to have a discussion with you to, to heal my own energy. I don't need to do that to him. I have to do it to myself. Because it's my own perception of what that situation was. I don't know what was going through his mind. I don't know his why he was doing certain actions or reactions of consequences. Okay. So as long as I can say to myself, Linda, let it go. That's the first one. Let it go. Allow that person to be who they want. Allow that person to do what they want. Think what they want. Live their life the way they want. I don't want to be that person. So I am now releasing you, cutting that cord of our connection. I cut that cord and I say, I am sorry. I am sorry for what happened. I am sorry I was in that situation. And most of all, I am sorry to me that I went through that situation and I'm not going to go through it again. I cut that cord. Then I say, I forgive me. Remember my life review? And I'll show you my book. When I was standing in front of these big guys and I was going through my memories and I talk about in my book about the day that I punched a girl at school. Did I actually physically see that girl to say I am sorry? I forgive me for what I did to you? No, she wasn't there because her memory in this box was only a representation of my memories, my perception, my awareness and my consciousness that I was the only person who needed to heal it. And then as we grow, guys, as we grow in spirituality, we realize that there are these synchronicities that come about in play that prove that we are on the right track. And that's exactly why now I must do this video because I just, I've been lying down for about two hours in bed playing games on my videos on my iPad. 
because I've got a sore throat. I've been resting my voice and I get this little bing on Messenger. And it's this friend of mine who sent me this video of something I only said yesterday. It's a synchronicity, which is an irony or that coincidence where the universe is letting us know that we are on the right path. She told me yesterday, out of all, the, I had about eight things, eight topics to do a video on yesterday. There was heaps of videos that I've got to do. She said, do the one about health. Why? Because it's that synchronicity where now I've just received that confirmation from Dolores Cannon in her video, where we're both virtually saying the exact same thing in how to get our solistic alignment. How do we let go of karma? I'm going to do a video about karma because that was on the list. But this is like a preemptor to that. Allow other people to be who they are. Don't judge. Don't accuse. Don't get offended by what they do. Because that's our ego. That's our self. Oh, I'm so upset that man just cut me off in traffic. I'm going to hold a grudge now. Why did he do it? I'm going to attack him. Why did you do that for? Let it go. Let it go. If you don't like something or someone, cut that cord and say, I love you regardless of who you are, but I'm taking responsibility of my own life. So therefore, I allow you to be that cretin I don't want to be like that. I'm letting you go. And then you turn to yourself and you say, I am sorry for allowing me to be affected emotionally by whatever that person did, said or acted. And then I can say to myself, I love you, Linda. I forgive you for allowing yourself to get upset by what that other guy or person did. This is how we cure our solistic alignment. This is how we let go of the past, cut that cord from abusers when we were young, parents who did things that we didn't agree with, partners who we've got such a grudge. Oh gosh, I don't like what he did. I'm never going to find another guy that does that one. Okay? Let it go. Don't compare what somebody in the past has done to what somebody now could possibly do in the future. You know, I get so many people ring me all the time and they say, Linda, I, had a, I was married for 20 years. My, ma my husband cheated. He was always on his phone texting. And now I found a boyfriend, he hides his phone. He must be cheating. It does not mean he's cheating. It's meaning that you're comparing, you're creating this false reality without evidence or facts based on what somebody else in your past has done. Let it go. Let that past person go and say, I'm no longer attached to you. I cut that cord. I do not have to be associated to you anymore because I'm going to be better in my future. And then wait for it because the synchronicities will come about. What am I talking about with synchronicities? You'll go to the shop and you say, hey, I want to buy a specific item. You'll walk in and there it is. There's one left. It was meant to be for you. You'll find something like this Dolores Cannon video just dropped in my inbox from a friend of mine because she said, wow, Linda only spoke about that yesterday and we could have been saying the same words. So obviously this is a message that needs to be getting out there 
And who told me to get the message out? She did. Mwah! So how much gratitude, how much appreciation, how much thanks, and most of all, how much love do I project to her? Love you so much, darling girl. Because she puts me into these situations where magic occurs. Things, you know, we have to start looking for well, all those little synchronicities as we raise our vibration and things just fall into place. Okay? Things will fall into place when we are doing the good and the right for the universe. In such a good mood you know I didn't want to do a video today I've got a sore throat I'm not gonna blame my sore throat so here I am right now saying thank you sore throat you've given me two hours where I could just lie down thank you for that opportunity to do my own self-care and now here I am sharing this with everybody who watches this video so they feel it too because you guys are the reasons why I do this. I don't sit there and think, oh yeah, I'll just film a video for Linda today to watch later. I do this so you can learn how to be heaven on earth. You know, I'm going to go there. 365 pages. I've seen this girl. Who's my girl? I've seen her many times in my life. I drew a picture of her. Here she is. That's the day I was at the pool and she was in the pool, but there was no water around her. It was all energy. She upgraded me that day and I was standing in the pool. It was like a baptism, standing in the water. And she said, you're getting new gifts. Are you ready for what's coming? Because she knew that I'm on the right path here. And now when I see someone as respected as Dolores Cannon saying what I only said yesterday, let it go. Forgive yourself, which why I said that is I'm sorry. Say sorry to yourself and forgive yourself. We don't have to hang on to our past traumas, hurts, which turns into regrets and grudges, shames. And most of all, guilt. We don't have to feel guilty about what somebody did to us when we were three. We don't have to feel guilty about how an ex-employer treated us in our job. That's their issue to deal with. That's their problem. You know, I said yesterday, I've got a troll. He's been hammering me for the last couple of months. I know now why I have not sued that guy, why I have not taken him to the police because the police said he's going to jail. Why haven't I done that, guys? Because I'm allowing him the opportunity to forgive himself for what he has only created himself within himself. It's amazing. The synchronicities are in play for me today, guys. And I want this emotion about how great I'm feeling. I want that for every single person that's watching my videos. Okay? I want it out there. Shout it from the rooftops. I'm sorry! To myself. Linda, everything that's ever hurt you. So you sit there and you go back through your memories like I did with my life review in my book. And I'm standing there looking in this box of all my memories. And I thought, you know what? I was only doing what I could at that time. I was only doing what I thought was the best for me at that time. So therefore, I forgive myself that it didn't turn out so great. I am sorry, but please know in the future I'm going to try my best again. And if I fail, then I'm only human. I'm not an angel. I'm not a guardian angel. I'm not a spirit guide. I'm not some other entity that we may not even know about because there's thousands of millions of other entities out there. 
I am human. I have my fallibilities. I have my mistakes. And I accept everything about me. You know, people have said to me over the years, Linda, you're missing a tooth. Why don't you get it fixed? And I say, I don't need to get it fixed because I accept that about myself. I don't need LASIK eye surgery. I accept that I wear glasses because it makes me who I am. I accept every fault, every mistake, every error about my body because I'm trying to do my best. And at the end of the day, anyone who gets offended by my husky voice or me missing a tooth, that is their problem as to work out why do they get so offended over something so trivial. And then I say to people, best line I think I've ever come up with, don't look at the face saying the words. Listen to the words coming out of the face. I hope you've just learned something today, guys. You know, if you are doing this already and you think, Linda, you're not telling me anything new. Great! I love you for that. But we are all human. We all have mistakes in our past. I want everybody to go and experience the greatness that I had when I went to heaven. Because hell is real. Hell is out there. And as Dolores Cannon said in that video I just watched, so I don't want to quote her words, so I'm going to put it in my own words so I'm not um, plagiarizing her work. But when we heal ourselves, we don't come back next time, reincarnate to learn those same lessons again. Hope you're all having a great day, guys. You know, my energy is woo! I feel great because I just got a confirmation that I'm on the right path. Look out for your confirmations too. Write them down. Record them. So then you're proud of yourself for allowing yourself to accept everybody with no judgment, no accusations. And you release your past and say, I love you and I'm sorry. Talk to you all again soon, guys. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.